Today, I'm going to be showing you how to leverage one of the best features in your Sony camera that you probably aren't taking advantage of, and that's the Sony clear image zoom. So in this video, I'm going to dive through what clear image zoom is, how this differs from just maybe a zoom lens or punching in when you're on your phone or something like that, and really how you can use this in your business when you're using your Sony camera. Most people aren't even aware that this is a feature that's in their camera, and they are always trying to lean to a type of a lens purchase to make up the difference when you're trying to do something. What makes the clear image zoom totally different than all the others is the ability to zoom in on the sensor. So unlike maybe a meme or on your phone when you want to see something more clearly or identify it, you're pinching and you're zooming in. Well, this digital type of a crop or zoom in is constantly deteriorating the image and it's getting blurrier and less clear. Well, we now have something even better. So instead of zooming in in the lens, let's say I'm using a prime lens like I am right now, which is the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. Well, I can zoom in and crop in more if I wanted to take something out of the frame instead of waiting to do it in editing. Now I do lose the ability to punch back out in editing, but this is something that I want to show you in real time. So you can go from 1.5 times crop in 4k, or you can go up to two times crop in 1080p. Well, if we are going to zoom in, then you'll see that this is not done in editing. This is in real time as I'm talking to you right now. This is using that clear image zoom. And if you notice, you are not noticing the background blur deteriorating. You're not seeing where the image is deteriorating. I'm cropping in on the sensor in real time on the camera and that's clear image zoom. So you can go from different increments from 1.1, 1.2, all the way up to 2.0. So this is how this works on the Sigma 16. Instead of me just having a 16 millimeter lens, I can continue to punch in until I get the equivalent of something about a 32 millimeter lens. This is also why when you're thinking about investing in lens options and you say, well, you hear me using, I use a 35 millimeter F 1.8 lens. And you say, well, I want to sit as close as you are to the Sigma 16, which is literally an arm's length away, but you put that 35 on there. And this is about roughly how close that that lens would be at an arm's length away. It's not going to work out well for you. So with the Sony's clear image zoom, I'll link to a lens calculator that you can use. So no matter what lens you want to purchase, you know how much you can get, but you can just do the mathematical calculation, which is your lens focal length times whatever that crop is 1.2, 1.1, all the way up to 2.0. Pretty neat stuff. So if you haven't taken advantage of this, then I would highly encourage you to do so. The way that you can locate this in your camera, you want to go into the menu for the camera, the zoom setting, and you can have a couple different images where it says optical zoom only. You have on where it'll say clear image zoom, and you have on where it'll say digital zoom that's possible. And the one that you want to select is the one that is for clear image zoom. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of clarity in how this works and why you might want to use it in a home office setting. You may not have a ton of need for it, but if you're at an event, and you are taking a prime lens or something there about, or you are using a zoom lens, like the 10 to 18 millimeter lens that I love to use. It only goes up to 18 millimeters, but I can get close to 40 millimeters with the two times clear image zoom crop. So I get way more reach on a wide angle lens than anything else. And the same is true with your kit lens or any other lens that you put on there. It's not just for primes, but I find it most helpful with prime lenses. So I know this stuff can get super confusing. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about crop factors and how that works because clear image zoom is a good way to kind of start getting an understanding. But if you don't, if you hear that language passed around a lot and you really don't understand how that works, once you check out the next video, I think you'll find it super helpful when getting more knowledgeable about your gear to help you leverage it way better in any scenario.